Yeah, they, all the Mina players, when they play on EU servers, play with uh, VPN because it gives them a better connection. But when they play on Mina, obviously they don't need that. So it looks like uh, we should be good to go here. He says, wasn't it rumored that TRK was the one that told Psyonix about now plus cheating? Well, yeah, it was rumored, but that was actually started by um, a TRK hater. And it turned out to be false. Naipo himself shut down that rumor, so no need to continue pushing that uh, narrative anymore. Uh, Sleepless Place, thanks to the Prime. Just Kaname, thanks to the Prime. And Black Rose, thanks to the Prime as well. Hezzy RL, thanks to the four month tier one. Clears is sitting very deep here, just letting. Wait, what's going on here? I'm so confused. <laughs> Why is Clear sitting so deep? <laughs> That's going to surely result in a goal for a while. So he's taking a sweet time with it because he's got a wide open net. And we do have the first goal for rule one. Demo and a bump from Kaleers. Oh, you thought it was a ping test. No, they all said no problem. It's fine though. We can restart. It did look pretty weird um, because they, yeah, <laughs> they weren't really doing anything. They thought it was a test. I was like half paying attention because I was very quickly looking at my sub um, list before it disappears off my screen. And yeah, I saw a very weird play in the corner of my eye. I was thinking, what are they doing? Why is Clear just parked over there? Oh my word. We're getting some serious... We're getting some serious thunder in Scotland right now. What is going on? I just saw the biggest flash through my, through my hall window and then huge rumble came after it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Do we have one in chat? Anyone else in, in Glasgow right now? The thunder is actually peaking. It's ridiculous. So if, I, if my internet dies, that's probably why. Uh, although <laughs> I don't know if that's likely. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, one in chat if you're in Glasgow or in, in anywhere in Scotland that's got thunderstorms right now. Let's see how many of us are suffering together. You're in Erskine and it's bad. That's pretty near Glasgow for anyone who's not sure. Yeah, thank you, by the way, just for, uh, before we get deep into this game here. To it's... Critically, it's critically for the Prime. Chameleon Hat for the 8 month Prime and HezyRL for the 4 month tier 1. Welcome back to you guys. Has also uh, got a Xeon 2112 10 month tier 1. And a Danger Dawson 16 month tier 1 as well. Sphere J with a 77 month tier 1. That's kind of ridiculous. Good Thunder's 10 out of 10. You're hearing it as well, I imagine. Sleepless Plays with the Prime and Pint Size Train with the Prime as well. Appreciate all you guys. So, game one of a best of five. Rawas first to score. Perfect timing as soon as we finish the sub shout outs for now. Now, Rawas and uh, Kaleers got quite a known history of being a terrifying 2v2 team. They were one of the best performing 2v2 teams at Gamers 8 last year when they played for F16 Esports at the time. And obviously, they've made even more of a name for themselves this season at RLCS with their teammates. The first split it was Nader, then it was Mossin since then. They've just qualified recently for the Boston Major. They're going to be playing as the sole representative of Mina in a few weeks' time. Phenomenal read by Rawas there. Even lands on the back corner boost to stay in control of the defensive play here. Rawas might have faked TRK out there by making it look like he's going for the other back corner boost as well. And he will score. But no doubt TRK was thinking Rawas is going to go for that boost and then the ball. Rawas just faked the boost grab, went for the ball immediately, and TRK was completely caught out of position. It was their birthday last week. Was it really? Was it really Rawas Kalir's birthday last week? That's pretty cool. I think uh, Kalir's is the older, if I remember, by a few minutes. Um, that's, that's right, isn't it? Kalir's is the older twin. Yeah, they, they're they looking to take down the informed Naipo TRK. Naipo TRK last night beating Atomic and Stizzy. Uh, they've also beaten Shopify Rebellion in twos in one game as part of a crew battle recently, as well as taking down um, Alpha, no, Zen and uh, Vatira. So they're they're on a bit of a hot streak right now with their 2v2s. Rawas and Kalir is just here to remind everyone that they're the real 2v2 combination this year in Mina. They've got the most played time together. They've definitely got 
a great combination of skills at their disposal. Rawas defense, Kalir's offense, and uh, the twin energy required to keep keep them from double committing, keep them from getting in each other's way. A couple people asking, will we be watching RLCS today? We will. It's in the, in the title, uh, but I know not all of you can read that if you're watching on mobile and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be watching NARLCS, I believe, round one and two today, and then I need to go after that. Uh, but there's a chance that we get some confirmed teams qualified for LAN, even after the first two rounds today. So it's going to be really exciting to watch. Um, and then the real, I think, entertainment will be tomorrow and potentially Sunday as it goes down to the wire deep in the tournament to find out who else will be qualifying for the Boston Major from North America. That's a great first touch by TRK. Goes for the pass with the second touch, but well read by Kaleers on the back wall. Now, Bo, you know, either faking or just accidentally missing a slight touch there. Wow, is just too quick. He's, he's been ahead of Naipo and TRK in a lot of these plays. And after seeing just how quickly TRK and Naipo were able to dispose of a lot of their opponents that they've been up against, this really shows you the level that Rawas and Kaleers are at. Naipo and TRK made a lot of their opponents look silly that they've played recently. Uh, they made a lot of their opponents look sluggish. But Rawas and Kaleers have just been too quick, even for the great Naipo TRK. 4-0 in game one. TRK going to try and make it one goal. It will be one goal for the current trailing duo. Naipo chased Ruas up onto the back wall, bumped him off of it, and then TRK with his classic air dribble into dunk. I mean, we really do see this from him so, so often. Uh, people are afraid of the high air dribble from TRK that he sometimes mixes in and uh, often fall prey to his air dribble dunk, um, which he prefers to use instead of air dribble bumps that are a lot more prevalent amongst other players. Oh, sorry, that was my PC that made that noise, if you heard that. That was me um, accidentally unplugging something. Did you guys hear that noise, just to check? I think you probably did, didn't you? Yeah, you did? Okay, yeah, that was me. Don't worry. No need to go check your own PC. Um, <laughs> yeah, since everyone... Uh, well, not everyone. Since uh, there are a few Scottish and uh, locals in chat, similar to me in the middle of a thunderstorm right now, I've just checked. It looks like it is supposed to finish in about an hour and a half. So if you've got evening plans, don't worry. Um, you should be able to go ahead with them. 5-1 here. I mean... Hope you don't have any evening plans for the next 30 minutes because if we are going to see Naipo TRK come back, it's going to be a very impressive imp uh, performance required. Kaleers and Rawas have been flawless in game one. They've been so consistent with their shots and really made TRK and Naipo look a bit silly over extending in certain positions. Okay, game two about to be underway. Biggest problem for TRK and Naipo in the first game was Rawas and Kalir's abilities, particularly Rawas and defense ability, as you would expect, to just make moves that TRK and Naipo are not expecting. Uh, either playing the ball instead of the boost at times, or making a save that looks a bit too difficult to be true. And that's what you've got to worry about when you play against Rawas. He's always got, you know, we talk about these players who've always got an extra touch in offense more than you expect. Players like Zen and players like Yan. Um, always able to get that one extra touch on the ball that no one sees coming. But Rawas is able to get that extra touch in defense that no one else is able to see coming. They think, okay, he's done. That's the last touch he's making. And then suddenly the ball's past him. And they're in a lot of trouble. TRK, they're expecting now put a 50 that into the back corner, but it hit off the inside of the post and Rawas slams the rebound into the top shelf. After now put on TRK's recent success, Mina 2's is looking all the more impressive at the moment. I don't know, is that the case? This is my read on the situation, at least. If Ruas and Kaleers can beat TRK and Naupo, and right now they're doing it easily, that just makes Mina 2v2 look even more scary because Naupo and TRK have been in brilliant form and they have not looked like an easy team for anyone else to handle. Um, the only team that have beaten them recently on my stream are Zen and Alpha 54, and that was a banger of a series, very close from start to finish. Rawas and Kaleers are just making this look like a routine 
um, Friday afternoon, or I guess it's Friday evening in Saudi Arabia. Just casual practice. They've actually got Naipo to switch into the Octane. They've got even Naipo, one of the most terrifying mechanical players in the world, to second guess himself. Clears 50 50s it straight towards Ruas. Naipo quickly um, up for it, but TRK was also back to help him out. Now Kalir is missing an open net, jumps over TRK's bump attempt, but now he's going to try one of his own, that misses. It's not just been about defense and counters, Kalir's in Rawas. Been able to put immense pressure on Naipo and TRK as well when it's their turn to attack. It's that pressure of knowing you're going to need something perfect to get the ball past the Twins at the orange side of the field. Kaliers dives in, asserts his authority, leaves it for a wasp, but he's advancing into position to steal away the boost from the blue end. That's not the clear TRK and Naipo we're hoping for. It. Naipo, low 50 by Kaliers, it's in for 3-0. TRK just wanted a couple more seconds to grab some small pads. But he didn't have any time at all. I mean, he's flipping away from the ball there. He's not actually going for the big boost in the corner. He's just trying to get a small pad or two and then get a run up into the follow-up challenge. But it's just too late. Kaliers completely nullifies the first challenge by Naupo and easily scores the third goal. Are you guys in agreement there with me that this just elevates Ruas and Kalir's uh, stock to a whole new level if they can dispatch TRK and Naupo easily? Um, one's in chat if that's what you guys are thinking. That's that's my thinking at the moment anyway, because Naupo and TRK have been so convincing. <laughs> oh, that's a great shot by Naupo. They're finally on the board in game two. Such an efficient air dribble. Very late use of the flip. <laughs> that's going to put it over the top of both challenges. Have they got any more where that came from? TRK beats one to the punch. Doesn't have the boost to get the second. Naipo looking to snipe that bottom corner. Kaliers does not allow it. Looks like Rawas was trying to shoot that off the wall. And Kaliers in defense. Potentially in a bit of trouble here. TRK's dunked on him. Look at his center towards Naipo. And Naipo's there. Two goals in a row for the first time in the series. Rawas thought that he could get a better shot than he did. The recovery was not there in time. Oh, that's a good kickoff though. Well, now Point TRK have tried to play that very specifically. Notice where Naupo's gone here. He's gone left. TRK's tried to force it towards him, but Kalir's completely prevented that. Stopped the ball dead in the center where Rawas was headed. And that's a kickoff that's given a lot of people trouble. The one that TRK and Naupo just lost with. They've been using it to great effect. Um, even tilting the great Vatira, because he didn't have a solution when he played with Zen against it. But now it's going to be TRK scoring, and I put it all the work there, but TRK was right there with him the entire way. <laughs> Immense faith in his teammate there. <laughs> well, they were definitely committed, but it looked like Ruas and Kaliers were floundering, so I don't blame them. What team do I think Naipo will join? I think it's impossible to tell. It really is. Um, the season still being, uh, you know, underway. We we have to wait and see what happens at World uh, at World's Wildcard and the World Championship itself. If both Falcons and Rule One do really well, um, I expect to you know well they're they're going to be playing Worlds and then Gamers Eight as well with their rosters. If both of those rosters do really well, then you're probably going to see them stick together. But um, if if one of them is struggling, it would be the obvious candidate. Very sneaky challenge there by TRK. It looked like TRK surprised Kaliers with his aggression in that position. Kaliers would have struggled to see TRK coming from that angle. No doubt he saw Naipo retreating. That's most likely why he didn't expect TRK to be challenging. It was a bit of an isolated challenge, but that's what TRK was going for. Just a surprising isolated challenge in 2v2. Yeah, if, if both Falcons and Real 1 do well, who knows, maybe... Naipo would think about joining the number three team, um, Vision, who have done very well recently. Or is it Twisted Minds? I forget. No, it's Twisted Minds, isn't it? No. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's Twisted Minds. The, the, the third roster always changes. Um, 
And a nice fin uh, finish here by Rawas. This is an absolute gold glutton game too. Yeah, the, the third team always changes in Mina. Lovely passing play. Yeah, absolute banger of a finish as well. Now who's going to ice it up here? Now PoTRK looking to respond after a dominant Game 1 performance by the Twins. And it's been a comeback from three goals down by Naipo and TRK. That's a heavy commit by Naipo. Kaliers unable to get the ball past TRK. Unable to force a favorable 50-50 as well. TRK knew better than to commit in that position. It's actually 50 straight towards Kaliers who bangs it on target. TRK needed to be ready as Naipo missed. Potentially a counter attack here for the blue team. TRK looking to slam the ball on top of Naipo's car there. Naipo leaving the area. Unprepared to doink it there. Uh, first possession of overtime will be TRK's. Kaliers dives on him. That only brings Naipo into the game. Rawas up quickly to make sure that TRK is not going to interfere. Rawas able to intercept the backboard touch from Naipo as well. Offloads to Kaliers. TRK deflects to his teammate. Naipo has been the main leader of all the offensive charges that himself and TRK have made this game. There's been a couple from TRK, but Naipo predominantly playing that first man role. TRK have been looking to follow up. But now here comes TRK. One reset for him. Two resets for TRK. Unable to get the dunk. The 50-50s from Kaliers have been spectacular in game two. And here comes Naipo. Delays his flick. Decides not to flip into the ball. Wasn't lining up perfectly. Kaliers has demoed Naipo off screen. That's going to give Rawas the free infield pass to Kaliers. Backboard to Rawas. And the shot will not trouble TRK as we enter into the second minute of overtime. Kaliers infield to Rawas. Rawas with an uncontested shot off the bar and out for TRK to collect. It's rule one the entire way and Kaliers is going to double in the winner. The passing plays in the final third have just been too good. This time it's a lob pass from Rawas. Kaliers pounces on it and from a tight angle easily slots the double tap. 80 seconds into overtime. It's two games to zero for rule one. It's so impressive to me that rule one are able to pass this much um, in 2v2. 2v2 is not really a game mode right now in the current meta. It's known for having a ton of passing plays. They're more situational, but these guys are passing a lot. They're, they're finding opportunities to pass. And most of these passes are made possible by the uh, positioning of the player off the ball. You can't really pass to a player who's just off by themselves uh, getting boost, but every time that Rule 1 have a chance to get a free touch on the ball, you can always see full trust from the other player um, advancing into a position where the pass is available. And, you know, we talked earlier about how Rawas is known as the defender for this team and Kaliers is known as the attacker for the team. That's, you know, really what happens in 3v3. Kaliers leads the majority of the attacks and Rawas is uh, the backbone of the team, but that second game we just saw was so balanced. We had three goals for each of them. All, I think it was three and two assists each, four saves each. It's a very balanced 2v2 lineup that we're seeing. As uh, Actually, TRK switches back to the Fennec here for game three. Not feeling too comfortable today. But that time he was able to spot the pass that Rawas attempted. A little sneaky back pass to uh, Kaliers there. That's something that, Kaliers, or, uh, that TRK and Naipo can look out for. If they know... The passing plays are uh, being prioritized by Rawas and Kaliers. They can try to... TRK was in the Fennec before. Wait, did I say TRK? It's, uh, I meant to say Naupo. Naupo's back in the Fennec is what I meant to say. He was in the Octane in the last game. Yeah, TRK has been in the Fennec all series. You guys are right. Well, I think he might have changed decal. Um, yeah, I was, I was saying that the uh, passing plays are being prioritized by Rawas and Kaliers. If TRK and Naupo are noticing that, which I'm sure they have, uh, they can prioritize interceptions instead of defending their net. But it's a risky game to, you know, prioritize interceptions in 2v2. Because if the other team decides to mix it up and just take a shot instead of passing, you might be out of position. So that's something to look out for in this second game. 
Lovely fake there by Rawas, giving Kaliris a shot. Nothing now Poke can't handle. There is the pass from um, the Twins. CRK saw it a mile away that time. Has not led to a goal on the counter-attack, but it's exactly like we talked about. The interceptions are going to be the key for TRK and Naupo if they're going to shut down this offense from Rawas and Kaliers. Are they really twins? They are twins, yes. Um, Rawas and Kaliers are twin brothers. Kaliers is the older of the two twins. And uh, Rawas actually had his come up a lot sooner. Oh my days, what a save by Kaliers. TRK must have thought that was in after he launched it top bins. There's another creative passing play by Kaliers. Just using the ceiling to get the ball center. By nine seconds, is that true? I, I don't know the exact details myself. Maybe it is less than a minute. Um, yeah, Rawas made a name for himself first. He's been n a known entity since he was 13 in the uh, bubble scene. He's been hyped up for a long, long time. He was very dominant in 1v1 for years before, well, a couple of years before he could play RLCS. Kaliers actually really only made a, um, a charge up the leaderboard about six months before he, he turned 15. He was no, not at the level of his uh, twin brother Rawas until maybe, yeah, six months before he was 15. And then suddenly he just started grinding the game like crazy and leveled up immensely and uh, yeah incredible rapid improvement that led to this duo being so so deadly at Gamers 8 last year but Kalir's performance at Gamers 8 did surprise me I did not think he was going to come in and just be a world world class player like you know immediately S tier um, in certain matchups Rawas that was expected but yeah to get two twins at that level is, is absolutely absurd Now, it was the defense from Rawas and Kaliers there that kept them in a one-goal game. Pretty limited for chances compared to the other games in this series. Yeah, they scored five and six in both those games, so this is a big, big change. To not put a single goal past TRK and Naupo, they've massively improved their decision-making. and They've really stifled the majority of the passing plays that we were hyping up earlier. Atto's brother is a player called Fake Out, if I remember correctly. He used to play in Gfinity Elite Series. He also um, had some, uh, I think, did he qualify main event for RLCS? No, I don't think so. I think he was like uh, maybe RLRS player. Was he RLRS? It was really cool, actually. He, Atto's brother, Fake he tweeted a uh, tweet longer about how Atto, his twin brother, or not twin brother, his younger brother is going to take over. Um, and he's just so proud of him for... Um, being such a good player. And he was absolutely right. He, he, he was spot on. Atto is definitely one of the best players in the world. He's been top five without a shadow of a doubt at times. I really don't mind that shot off target there from Naipo. He knew that he was the last man there if he dove and hit the bar really hard. It was possible for Rawas and TRK to, uh, Rawas and Kaliers rather, to counter attack and score. So he just played for the possession. They get a third goal a bit later, but more importantly, they didn't concede. That's going to guarantee the game three win here. Yeah, Atto is Fakeo's little brother, or Fakeo. I think it's Fakeo's, but most people call them F A Y C O W. Uh, I, I believe he was a Gfinity Elite Series player, a uh, bubble player in Europe. Yeah, Fakeo and D7 did play together. I remember that. D7's a French uh, caster content creator now, I believe. Okay, game three, no sweep. That's a very risky dive there by um, TRK. Naipo is back to stop Rawas and Kaliers from scoring. That was actually a team bump from Rawas and Kaliers as well. Naipo versus Zen, number three. You want to see them play again? I'd love to see them play um, again for sure. I mean, the best time for Naipo and Zen to play would be when Zen is in Saudi Arabia for... Uh, Gamers 8, that would be, I think, the most exciting time for that match because we've seen them twice on European server. Naipo on European server is um, one of the one of the worst connections from the Middle East players. CRK and um, the Twins 
Khaled, they all get pretty good connections to EU server with like 80-ish ping. Uh, Naipo and uh, also Ahmad historically have not had the the most fun playing on EU in comparison. Something like 100 ping. A lot harder to play with, although it might not sound like much. Oh, TRK just full aggression there to tie the game. Naipo had the double tap lined up. That's all Clears was paying attention to. Actually, Clears were very careless. Um, miss there in the back wall. He tried to catch the ball in the back wall instead of jumping or flipping, but he mistimed it and it actually just bounced straight past him. Ooh, Donut, thanks to the Prime. Muster, musty, must, musty Mustard, thanks to the Prime. White, Temper Camper, thanks to the three month Prime. Bag of Bags 27, thanks to the five month tier one. Flintar, thanks to the 13 month Prime. And uh, I think that's everybody. Thank you all for the support in today's stream. Hopefully, you're enjoying the pre NARLCS entertainment uh, we might have another match tomorrow I'm, try I'm trying to I've been trying to reach out to Vatira and see if he wants to play against Growly tomorrow Growly is avail available before um, NARLCS this exact same time slot if Vatira wants to play him I don't know if Vatira is available uh, right now he's playing NBA 2K23 so I kind of want to leave him to it he seems like he might be busy right now dunking on some kids Fake kickoff by Naipo and TRK. Naipo actually 50s it right through his man. As TRK demos the other, but it took too long to bounce down. And that allowed the recovery to come through for a real one. Oh, massive dunk by Rawas. He's trying to center it to Kalir as he has done, but Kalir's shot to nothing goes straight into the goalies. Matira cancels every show match. No, he doesn't cancel. He's just, he's just a busy man. Um... Probably enjoying his short break before major prep begins and, uh, you know, trying to stay active in twos and uh, maybe some scrims as well. But no, he's not, Matira's not cancelling. He's, he's been late to a couple show matches because he's um, sometimes forgetful, but he's never, ca he's never like, dodged. He wants to play it, uh, just to, it's a matter of when. I do also have another match. Do you guys want me to leak another match? Uh, we've got one before RLCS on Sunday as well. One that I think you guys are going to be very excited about. Shall I leak that? You guys want to know what it's going to be? Now remember, if you're watching this uh, live match on video, then all these matches I'm talking about um, will probably have also already happened. They'll all be uploaded onto YouTube and they're all available to watch on Twitch VOD in the meantime, of course. Um, yeah, we're going to get Sunless versus in Civic. They've had a little bit of a trash talk back and forth on Twitter. And they're going to play three games at half past the hour. So 30 minutes before RLCS starts on Sunday. Sunless Cannon and Civic are going to be 1v1. Oh, what a goal by Naupo. That's not an easy reset to land. Definitely not an easy one to land and then shoot immediately. The ball's coming over his head. Flip reset, first touch. And then a shot to tie the game. Yeah, Sunless first and Civic. They're going to play three games, so it's not a best of series. It's a set of three. Three games guaranteed to see if it's going to be a... Uh, well, somebody will obviously be victorious, but will it be a sweep or a 2-1? We'll have to wait and see. They're both very confident. They both think that they're going to dominate the, uh, the other uh, player there. So I'm, I'm curious to see what's, how it's going to go. Locker McQueen, thanks to the 24-month Prime. Welcome back to the channel. We're waiting a minute, another 80 seconds, potentially over time as well, to see if Game 5 will be required today. Now, Poe and TRK really dominated, uh, or rather were dominated in Game 1. Had an impressive comeback in Game 2 before losing the overtime. Game 3, they were just a completely different team on Now Poe's looking like he's back at his best. He's starting to take over the lobby with his mechanics. Perfect first touch, but not able to get the shots off quickly enough there. Kalirz closes the gap. Now Bull lurking on the right side. It's going to be a pinch attempt. Great dive by Rawas. He saw that one. Saw the danger. TRK and Naupo are setting up a team pinch there. Off TRK's air dribble. Good awareness there by Kalirz spotting TRK's early challenge. Couple of small wins for the Twins in the midfield. Nothing that's led to a goal so far, but 
These are some consistent outplaying touches that they're getting. A big clear by TRK will alleviate the pressure. Final 15 seconds of game four regulation. Now Pope launches himself into the back corner. Kaleers will collect at the far post. It's off the wall for Kaleers. Not a lot of boost available. Fakes out the first challenge. It looks like it might have bounced off the roof of his car and cleared itself. TRK grinds it. Overtime game four. And a pretty even kickoff gives TR uh, TRK a simple challenge on a Clear's air dribble. Clear saving 18 boosts on that recovery. And they don't have a lot of boosts to play with here. TRK with a chance to offload to Naupo. He doesn't get it into a suitable position. That was a great chance, actually, on the counter attack for TRK and Naupo. A rare overextension, perhaps, by Clear's and Rawas. They had a ton of boosts used, and they were both very high up the field. Naipo finds TRK just inside the halfway line. Clears, launches high to his brother Rawas, who skips over Naipo in the back corner. That's going to leave Naipo with just 50 boost. TRK is backwards here. Rawas might be beating him to it. Goes for the dunk underneath. Now Clears, pass one, pass two. That's game. 59 seconds into overtime. Not quite a minute, but soon enough. Kaleers goes to the left of TRK, to the right of Naupo, and wins the game for Rule 1. Fantastic stuff. Wins the series for Rule 1, I should say, 3-1. They are just simply too good today. We need to see these guys play more teams because that was so impressive. The way that they dominated TRK and Naupo in the first game, that's not really something we've seen before. And then they were clearly just the, the better team for the remaining three games as well. Overall, uh, Game 3 belonged to TRK and Naupo, but Rule 1 overall... Different. Very, very impressive stuff. Just a different level of synergy, I think, although the mechanics on both teams were impressive start to finish. Yeah, thanks to Rawasa Kaleers, Naipo TRK, for putting on a show for us.